And our boy side. This is big times now in Klali Sra. The Dhamni for the Yeshua. The Yeshua Slokivisi Hashem. There's nothing else right now but the Dhamni for the Yeshua, the Dhamni for Mashiach. Now it says that when Mashiach comes, it's, it's like, a, like a birth, it's like someone giving birth. So Chazal say that it's Chevle Leida, Chevle. Chevle Mashiach means that before there's a birth, there's always a... You know, it's not like Gan Eden anymore, which in that time the conception and the birth was all one. That's what it means that the pre Kitama, pre Kitama eights, the tree, there was no journey from the tree to the fruit, it was all one. The tree and the fruit was all one. A person would give birth immediately. But now, in the times that we're in, so there's Chevle Leida, there's the birth pains before a person gives birth. And it's, it takes time. It takes time. Regina said that Chevli Mashiach, a Chevli is also like a rope. It's also so nice to see the Chevli here on the digital screen a little bit, the shtickle, just to be able to see some Shana Punams. So special. So Chevli Mashiach is like a rope. And Regina said in the end of days there's going to be a rope that's going to be tied around the earth. Shana Punam's here. So sweet. And this rope is going to be tied around. One end is going to be Mikhail. The other end is going to be Gabriel. They're going to tie this big rope around the earth. And they're going to start shaking the earth. Now you can imagine if two angels are shaking the earth with a rope. That's going to be a bit, uh, a bit difficult. And the main thing is just to hold on tight. Just hold on tight. As the world starts shaking, just hold on. People have felt that things are shaking a little bit, no? It's getting a little bit shaky. Good idea to a little piece of karka, some land to get your minimalist shoes. <laughs> Feel the contact a little bit. <laughs> and things are shaking, things are moving, and we just have to hold on tight. And holding on tight means holding on to a muna. It means holding on to each other, spiritually speaking. It means grabbing a hold of friendship, grabbing a hold of Muna, grabbing a hold of Shabbos Kodesh, grabbing a hold of everything that we need in this world that's real, which is Ennis, which is Torah, which is Tefillah, which is the Basmela. The Basmela. Grabbing a hold so tight, feeling that contact. There's another understanding of the Chevli Mashiach, which is that there's going to be contractions. And it seems that a few months ago we had some very strong contractions, and maybe now we're like between the contractions. I'm hoping that the Mashiach is just going to come. But in a certain way, people sort of forget a little bit. Chevle Mashiach means that there's, we're almost between the serum now, between that, that stage, and we want to hold on. It's the same thing, hold on tight to Amuna. Don't slip back into business as usual, everything's normal. When this all just finishes over, 
We're trying to grab hold of a whole new reality now, a reality of Amuna, a reality of Shabbos Kaidish, a reality of Panemius, a reality of really crying out to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, to cry out in a way of Beit HaMetzar and Dear Shur Hashem Bi Matzai, Hashem is very close now to grab a hold of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Kaviyachal. And that's what tonight really is, is trying to go inwards a little bit for a few minutes together to go inside to machazik each other a little bit to feel like there's something that we can grab onto that's tangible, that's not going anywhere, that's real that's endless it's each other so we'll sing a little more Need a little more chillin. I heard it's very good tonight. The Olam said, wow, inflation's were extra special tonight. So the Siat Deshmaya will go inwards a little bit for a few minutes. And join us if you're around the world. I know it's difficult on these computer screens. It's not the same, but like the Baal Shem HaKadosh said, wherever your mind is, that's where you are. So everyone who's leaning their mind right now around the world, I see some, some DC, some Baltimore, Manhattan, all over. Some five towns, some New Rochelle, some Jacksonville. Oh, yeah. Travis is representing right here. So lean your hearts. Wherever your mind is, wherever your heart is, that's where you are. And go to a place where there's no computer screens, there's no, there's no separation. In the world of physicality, everything is measured by physical distance. But in the world of spirituality, everything is measured by similarity. So if we're leaning our essence into the same place, if we're attuning ourselves to the same vibration, I know that sounds very hippie, but they had a few things right. Most of us is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> a few things they did get though. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> 